Welcome to part two of my Electro House song tutorial. I am DJ Ridiculous, here to teach you how to construct the song that I showed you in the intro video to my tutorial series. So if you have not already done so, please watch part one to uh, assemble the pianos that you heard at the beginning of the track. And from there, you'll be up to date with us. So the first thing we're going to do is open Logic, go to the file menu and open what you have so far which should look a little something like this. We have the two pianos with our reverbs and delays, and we have them laid out as a 16 bar loop. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new track by clicking the little plus button and then select software instrument. And we're going to call this one pitchy because we're gonna create that pitch bendy synth you heard uh, that came in after the piano. So we're going to click on the IO and from there we are going to select the ESX24 sampler and we'll do a mono ESX24 this time. All right, when that opens up, you're going to want to go into the black menu up here, go to factory, synthesizers, sequence elements, and JP8 polysquare. We're gonna start out by transposing this up an octave so we can get some higher notes. We'll bring up the release. So once we hit the note, we hear a ring out for a little bit longer. And most importantly, we're going to bring up this fader here called Glide, which helps create that bendy sound you hear between notes, which is very popular in Electro House. So from here, we're going to go back to our timeline, press the escape key to pick the tools, select the pencil tool, click on the timeline, hit escape again, select the mouse, and we're gonna stretch this out so it is a four measure box in which we can put in notes. Let's start clicking around here and find the high notes you like. I'm gonna switch back to my pencil with the escape key and we could start clicking in some notes. Yep, this is just gonna be uh, C4, G4, and C5, and maybe a couple of other random notes just to get some kind of pitch bendy. This. All right, so let's click in some eighth notes here. Just kind of going up and down. I'm not very good at this. I usually have a uh, MIDI keyboard to do this with. Let's see how this sounds so far. Yep. To create this green bar that you have on the top, I clicked my mouse on the little ruler at the very top of the timeline. If you click and drag, you can create a little green highlighted area, which will show you the area in which it will loop which is very easy for uh, creating these short loops like this. So it'll just keep playing it. So you don't have to keep hitting the space bar and clicking on the timeline. All right, that's sounding pretty good. Uh, one thing we're gonna add a little bit more release. So it rings for a little bit longer and a little bit more glide. So it's a little bit more pitch bendy like that. That sounds good. Let's close out the mixer. And let's move on to our next instrument. So we're gonna hit the plus button again, select a software instrument, click create, and let's call this one chords. This is a very popular uh, chord sound that I use in a lot of my remixes and I hear these all over the place. So we're gonna go to the IO and select an ES2 synth. From there, we're gonna click the uh, menu and pick the preset called Transchords. See if there's anything in here I want to change. We'll change that from the ring oscillator to the sawtooth oscillator. Let's see how this sounds now. No, that's not it. Ah, right there. We're going to uh, change this to say zero. And eh, well, I guess we'll leave that at negative three where it was before. That's more like it. So we're going to use the same chords, the same chord progression, I should say, that we used in our very first piano track, but we're just gonna have it playing eighth notes. So I'm going to switch back to my pencil tool, find the right octave that I wanna play it in, and it's going to be A, C, and E. And once we do that, we can switch back to the pointer tool and copy and paste this on each and every eighth note. All right, so that sounds good. The next thing we're gonna do is go into our mixer and we are going to create 
our side chain compression, which is what gives all these synths that popular pumping feel you hear in a lot of dance music. So we're going to hit our plus, we're going to select a software instrument, and we're going to call it sidechain. I like to drag my sidechain track to the very top because once we build this, we're not going to touch it again. And uh, I like to add instruments to the bottom of the list. So because we're not going to be touching this once we finish putting together our sidechain, I like to put it up at the very top and keep it out of the way. So we're going to go back into our mixer, go to the IO, and we're going to select the ultra beat. Let me open up my uh, keyboard here. And we're going to want this sound right here. It is on, hang on, let me move this so I can see. That is a B2. So once we go into our piano roll, we're going to use the pencil and we're going to type in some quarter notes on our B2 note. Oops, that was B1. There it is. All right. So let's copy and paste this. So we have one on each quarter note. And we'll hit the letter L to uh, loop it until the end of the song. And we'll just cut it off there. And that's what we want. Now, this sounds kind of funny. And you're not actually going to hear this. So what we're going to do is uh, route this. This is a little bit complicated. We're going to route this to bus three. We used bus one for reverb, bus two for delay. So we're going to use bus three for sidechain. So we changed, instead of having that ticking noise come out of our speakers, we routed it to software bus three. Let's make this a little bit louder. Um, let's see, plus six. That's good. And we'll turn it up on the bus too. We want this to be as loud as possible. That's much better. Now in just a minute, you will see the purpose of this silent track. We're going to click on our pitchy, go to dynamics and compressor and select the mono compressor. And here's sidechain right here. So we're gonna select bus three. So that means it's going to listen to the sound from bus three and turn down the volume of the pitchy to the rhythm of what's on the sidechain track. For the release, you could put it about halfway. I, I tend to just use auto. Uh, that usually gets it correct. Let's loop this. And we're going to solo, pitchy, and sidechain. And you could hear right away, it sounds like it's kind of pumping up and down in volume. And now this blue bar that's moving left and right right here, is decreasing the volume of the pitchy to the rhythm of the clicking sound we put into bus three. We have our compressor threshold all the way down, our attack at about four, and we're gonna put the uh, ratio at about three. So let's go back to our chords and let's do the same thing. We're gonna go to dynamics and compressor, select bus three in the sidechain menu, attack at attack at four milliseconds, ratio at about three, threshold all the way down. So let's apply some uh, reverb and delay to these to make them blend in with the track a little bit more. Let's start with negative 20 decibels of reverb and negative 20 of delay. Let's click on the send, send one, reverb, double click on the little circle, minus 20. We're not gonna put a delay on the chords Yeah, that's way too much reverb on the pitchy, so we could just go back and go to the volume of bus one. Let me turn that back down. Go to the volume of bus one, double click, and we're gonna make this minus 30. That sounds much better. And we'll also turn up the volume of the delay on the pitchy to negative 15. negative two. So it's not quite so loud. And it should sound like this. All right, so what we will talk about in our next one is laying out the drums, some simple EQing. So until then, let's save our progress and I will be seeing you next time.